Hi, hello, welcome once again on my research blog, Discover Social Sciences. It's me again in my thread of research that I am pursuing now on the role of cities in our civilization and on the possible changes in our urban life under the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, in this update, I am giving a little bit of review of literature because I am, let's say, I am circling around my own ideas, which I already expressed in a few past updates on that blog. Before I go further, once again, the usual reminder or the usual signaling of how this video and this channel on YouTube is coupled with my research blog. So underneath the video in the description box, you will find the link discoversocialsciences.com. You click on that link. It takes you to the website of my blog, Discover Social Sciences. And on that website, you can find a written update uh, which has the same title as this video, as the title that you can see under this video. This is how those updates uh, in the video form and in the written form are coupled. Essentially, I consider those videos as a sort of editorials to each written update. I know that people absorb information in various ways. And as I am a, a university professor, I know by experience that if I present someone with various types or with various forms of the same information, it usually works better. Uh, so, uh, to summarize uh, or to give a short ed editorial of what I write in this update. Essentially, I came to a realization after the review of literature that until recently, I mean recently in historical perspective, until recently, epidemic outbreaks and epidemic risk was or had been sort of daily bread of all of us city slickers, the city dwellers. Cities essentially had been growing in the presence and in spite of epidemic outbreaks over centuries. Uh, and back in the day, that epidemic, uh, that epidemic risk was much, much higher. Uh, when I was writing this specific update, I read Daniel Defoe's Journal of a Year of Plague, uh, published in 1665. It is the same Daniel Defoe who wrote Robinson uh, The Adventures of Robinson uh, Crusoe. Uh, and he describes like one year of life in a city invaded by an epidemic outbreak. And as funny as it could seem, back in the day, like in the second half of the 17th century, when they had those outbreaks of plague in cities, they already have a problem with asymptomatic carriers, just as we have today with the COVID-19 pandemic. So it... it it is useful to have some historical perspective. So cities are resilient to uh, epidemic outbreaks and cities might even serve to like a mechanism, like a social contrivance to generate solutions, how to cope uh, with uh, epidemic risk. Another thing that I realized uh, as I was reviewing literature for that update is that, yes, cities are a good environment for creating new social roles. And those social roles essentially emerge at the fringes of statistical distribution. So those new, role, those new social roles emerge in the behavior of people who can be considered as outsiders, either positive outsiders, the creative, the inventive ones, or the negative outsiders. As I was reading, as I was reading literature, in particular, as I was comparing a book published in 1886 on criminality in New York City, I realized that uh, uh, criminal behavior of or social pathologies, uh, like, come along as a fringe phenomenon with increased creativity on like the ethically good side of the social spectrum. 
So we need to be prepared that when cities and city dwellers need to adapt to a new type of risk, both creativity kickstarts and criminality can kickstart as well. It is like a tough moment to, to go through. As we speak about moments, I realize another thing, that cities uh, sort of define their own official boundaries inside a space, uh, usually a slightly wider space, which seen from the orbit, from the satellite, is clearly urban. And uh, cities grow, let's say, in a pulsating sine wave pattern. So they sprawl uh, to peripheries and then some of that sprawl comes back cyclically. And uh, it is usually when the, the available technologies make dense social life unbearable or uncomfortable, then people sprawl or spread to the peripheries of cities. And then technology changes, new technologies come, which allow like a comeback, like a movement back towards the center of the city. Uh, and this is like a pulsating phenomenon of social well-being uh, being found al al alternatively on the peripheries of the city and in the center. Okay, these are like few loose thoughts in that update. Uh, once again, if you have, uh, if you want to read the full body text of this update, you go to the description box below the video, you click on the link discoversocialsciences.com. The link takes you to the website of my blog, Discover Social Sciences, and there you find an update which has the same title as this video. So have fun with science, have fun with life, enjoy yourselves. Bye.